Hi everyone, it's George here on Bardsey. Um, I'm currently out checking uh, some of my burrows. So one of my projects this year is the Manx Shearwater Productivity Monitoring. Um, so I have 170 burrows across the island in uh, each of the places really where there are burrows. Um, and we use those uh, to try and work out how well the Manxes have done uh, each year, how many young they've fledged. Um, but as well as that, um, I have 40 at the moment, which I'm using to work out a correction factor for the uh, Manx Shearwater Census, which is also ongoing at the moment. So the Manx Shearwater Census is one of Sam's, um, one of Sam's projects and I'm working out the correction factor. So to do this, um, I had to find 40 of my burrows, which um, all had birds in, uh, which were all occupied. And then I go around. First, I play um, the Manx Shearwater call, uh, the playback law. <laughs> So it sounds, it sounds like that, and you can hear, that isn't the law, that's an actual Manxie. So <clears throat> I play that at these 40 burrows, and first I record whether the birds reply or not, and then after that um, I use an endoscope which we have to check the actual contents of the burrow. So. I know they're all occupied, but I'm just checking to see whether they have an egg or whether they've not laid an egg yet. Um, so I'm comparing the response rate of the uh, occupied burrows with eggs and without eggs. So by the end of it, we can come out with an idea of what percent... Oh, the trough's just gone past. Very nice. Um, and another one. We can come out with an idea of what percentage of birds with eggs reply and what percentage of birds without eggs reply. So as part of Sam's Manxie census, um, he goes around with three clickers to count um, his burrows. One is total number of burrows, so any burrow that he sees, um, he clicks, and then he works out whether he thinks... Um, that burrow looks like it's occupied, so we call that an apparently occupied burrow, um, and there's a separate clicker for that. And then there's a third clicker, so he has to do what I do, I pl he plays the call to each of the apparently occupied burrows, and if they respond, he then clicks on a separate clicker. So we'll have three totals by the end. We know not all occupied burrows um, reply, not all birds reply, um so <clears throat> the figure isn't quite accurate so then by me working out the correction factor with 40 burrows which are spread across the area that he's uh surveying this year uh, we can then use the response rates from my burrows to extrapolate his uh his response his number of responses that he gets um, and try and give a more accurate figure um, because not all of the apparently occupied burrows are occupied um, and not all actually occupied burrows respond so you'd either end up overestimating how many pairs you've got um, by just counting the apparently occupied or underestimating by just counting uh, the number of responses that you get because not all of them respond. Um, I think what I'm finding is about just under half um, respond. So I think the correction factor that I've got so far from my first three visits uh, to these boroughs, I'm going to do five, five visits. The correction factor from the first three has worked out at 2.2. So say if Sam uh, counted 1,000 responses 
uh, it'll be more than that. Um, but just for the sake of me having to work it out, that would then equate to 2,200 pairs, not just 1,000, which would be uh, what it would be if we worked off the responses alone. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's um, that's what I'm doing currently. Um, it's a gorgeous day. Um, there's some some grey cloud as you can see here, but it's mostly been um, another very nice sunny day. Um, lots of lots of foxgloves out at the moment. Um, I'm just sat uh, at the bottom of Pencriston. You can see, uh, where is it? There's a post, yeah, a post here. Can't see that because I'm in the sun. Um, that's Pencriston 1. So that's one of my productivity burrows that has a bird and an egg in. Uh, I came around and checked those yesterday. Those were some of my empty burrows. So basically... Uh, when I did my first checks back at the beginning of May, so about a month ago now, uh, not all of them were occupied, um, not all the birds had returned yet, um, and some of them didn't have eggs yet. So yesterday I went round and checked those burrows, so I think there were 34 burrows uh, that were empty or didn't have eggs the first time I went round, and then I've been round again, and now another 23 of those have uh have eggs and are occupied so i think i have about 130 burrows this year um and that's enough for us to work out the productivity so there's a few that we aren't using this year uh, a few of the more difficult to access burrows um but yeah it's been a been a nice day and uh the manxies seem to be doing well uh, there's still an increase in uh, the area that Sam's doing at the moment is currently on the west side of the mountain. So that's a more difficult area to census because it's gorse. Um, so it's not very... Well, you can't be as accurate as with walls. Or it's a difficult to be because with walls you can just go along and count them. But on the mountainside it's covered in gorse. And the burrows are beneath the gorse. Uh, so <clears throat> the technique for that is you play the call at the gorse and you count the number of responses uh, because the total um, total number at the end will come from the number of responses. So we can't actually see how many burrows there are, uh, but we can still work out uh, the number of pairs by listening for the responses. So yes, uh, lots to do at the moment very busy um i'm looking forward to going around in a few weeks i think we're expecting the first chicks around the 27th 28th of june something like that the first egg that i found was in a burrow above the obs on i think it was the 7th of april um and the incubation period's about 50 days so that would work out with that bird hatching yeah, about the, I think it's the 28th of June, I think. I think so, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, um, there's not, not a lot else going on. Uh, Steve found uh, a rosy starling this morning down, uh, down on, on the Narrows, which was nice. Um, it had flown off in the time that it took him to reach for his radio and call me about it so um it's probably still here somewhere uh, but there's a lot of ground to cover and a lot of places that it could go so hopefully it pops up again um but yeah i've done 20 of this set of correction factor burrows now i just need to do the other 20 um above the obs so once I've done those, um, I'll check back in with you and let you know how many responses I've had today. Um, I've just finished uh, the Manxie Correction Factor burrows. Um, I've just done the ones above the obs. Uh, so above the obs, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six out of 20 uh, responded. So that's a low response rate. 
and then when I was over uh, at Pencris and in Tepetla and the Northwest Fields, I had 9 out of 20. So that's 15 out of 40, which uh, is 30, 37.5%, I think. That's right. <clears throat> so, yeah, a low response rate, um, which is good in terms of... Um, it means there's more mancuses than we think there are um, and it fits in with what I've seen so far uh, it does fluctuate uh, some of the some of the times the first time I did it I think it came out at something like a 67% um, response rate and then obviously this time's 37 so it fluctuates uh, depending on weather I think and other other things I imagine uh, which is why we do it five times so that was my fourth visit to the burrows and I've got one more which is in three days we do it every three days so uh, what is it Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday so Tuesday um, is my final final visit and then <clears throat> yeah uh, we'll have the correction factor and we can have a more reliable um, estimate of how many uh, Manxies we've actually got in the section that Sam has counted this year. So yeah, that's it from me. I um, hope everyone's staying safe back on the mainland. Um, you know, even, even though lockdown has been lifted quite a lot now, uh, it's still important, obviously, to keep you and your family safe. Um, but yeah, just as a side note, uh, there's been a lot of red admirals and small tortoise shells. Between me making the last video and this one, I've had 35 red admirals, uh, which are all just going north, um, and 10 small tortoise shells, so something like, I think it's 58 red admirals in total and 24 small tortoise shells so yeah very nice <clears throat> but yeah as i say uh, that's it from me so yeah i'll speak to you soon hope everyone's well bye everyone